dolphins and butterflies. Today is episode three of our science summer series. We've learned a lot about weather. Today we're going to set up an experiment that will show us how lightning happens. We're making our own mini lightning. All you will need is a balloon, a metal spoon, and your head. Don't forget your head. Blow up your balloon and have an adult help you tie it shut so that the air stays inside it. Bingo! Yay! You're going to go into a dark room in your house. I'm choosing my bathroom because I can turn off the lights and since there's no windows, I'm not gonna get any sunlight from outside. It's going to be nice and dark so that we can see our lightning. Have an adult rub the balloon on your head. Your hair may stand up and go crazy like mine. Now, turn off the light and touch your spoon to your balloon. This happens really fast in the blink of an eye. This is what happens in a lightning and thunderstorm. Charges build up in a cloud. You can't see the charges, but it's just the charges are how the cloud feels. The charges that are in the cloud don't like the charges that are in the air and close to the ground. Eventually, the two charges get so heavy and tired and they're pressing against each other that they join together finally. When you see that lightning bolt in the sky, think of the charges from the clouds in the air hugging each other. Friendship forms and lightning flashes. So sweet. So next time you see lightning, don't be scared. Remember, the charges from the clouds in the air just hugged it out. Try this at home. I'd love to see pictures of your crazy hair. Have fun, scientists.